So we have to evaluate the definite integral of cosine times the sine of the sine of x from 0 to pi over 2. So in a problem like this, we probably should try to make a u substitution. I'm thinking if we let u be sine, then the derivative of sine is cosine, and so we'll just end up with like the sine of u. So that seems to be a good strategy. So what's u equal to the sine? And then let's compute du. So du is the derivative of u. So the derivative of sine is cosine. And then we have our dx here. Now, this is a definite integral. So whenever you make a u substitution in a definite integral, you want to change the limits of integration. So let's do that. These are x limits. We have to turn them into u limits. So when x is equal to 0, so you just take your 0 and you plug it in here for your u. So u is equal to the sine of 0, which is 0. So u is equal to 0. And then when x is equal to uh, pi over 2, same thing, you take your pi over 2 and you plug it in here um, to your u. So u is equal to the sine of pi over 2, which is actually 1, right? which is actually 1. If you think about the unit circle, um, pi over 2 is right here. And sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle, so the sine of pi over 2 is 1. Okay. So now we can make our substitution. So let's see. So we have our limit. They're being changed. So instead of 0, well, it's going to be 0. Okay, so instead of x equals 0, it's u equals 0. Instead of x equals pi over 2, it's going to be u equals 1. And then this piece here, this cosine x dx, that's over here. That's just du. So we're left with the sine of the sine of x. Well, that's just going to be the sine of u. And so we just have to work this out. So not so bad. So what happens when you integrate sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we're going backwards. So when you integrate sine, you get negative cosine of u. And we're going from 0 to 1. Then the rule is we plug in the top number first. So this is negative cosine of 1 minus and then negative cosine of 0. So this is negative cosine of 1 plus and then cosine of 0. Well, cosine of 0 is 1, so this is negative cosine of 1 plus 1. If we want to write it in maybe a cooler way, we can maybe just write it as 1 minus the cosine of 1. So, And that would be the value of uh, this definite uh, integral. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.